Hi, welcome back for another one. I am Mr. Free to Play. That is right, I'm a free to play player and I give free to play player advice, tips, tricks, and other things. In this video, we're going to recap some things and we're going to get into that championship raid that has started, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail. First update Have I unlocked Agent Colson? Check. The second update, we're going to talk about Elsa Bloodstone's event. All five of these characters, are they level 60? Are they gear tier 9? That is check for Daredevil, check for Groot, check for Rocket, check for Spider-Man, and check for Mantis. And have I cleared Elsa Bloodstone's event on hard the whole way across? The answer is, well, no. <laughs> so this is by far, if you guys have not experienced this yourself, or you maybe struggled and can't figure it out, I'm here to confirm this last node is the hardest event campaign node that I've ever faced in any of these events that is by far the hardest i can't pass it i'm not going to waste any more time upgrading my people i'm just going to use the techniques i used in graviton for which ones i have unlocked so i'm not going to earn i might earn an orb or two less by the events all said and done but mainly i should still around i think what like 30 to 40 orbs i can't remember how many i get on average but somewhere around there i'll have by the end of the event and now the main point of this video is the beta raid is ending the championship raid, well, championship raid, the champions raid is going to begin. I'm actually surprised they're going to do the champions raid again. I was fully expecting Gamma. And to be honest, guys, this champions raid, if the rewards are the same as last time, is the best raid event that we have in this game. All right, and now what you see on the screen is the map for the champions raid. I covered this in a previous video, but I'm going to recover it again here in this video to kind of update things. The map itself has not updated. I'm still waiting for them to add Fantastic Four somewhere in this map, but they still haven't done it yet. Will they do it? Probably not. Let's get the best way for you to build a team to achieve the best score possible on this raid. First off, if you're a newbie and you guys are only going to be able to do uh, levels 1 and 2, um, Champions Raid 1 and 2, it doesn't matter. Your map don't look like this. And for example, I'll show it to you real quick. Go to Champions Raid, we go to 2. There's no, you can take your defenders through it. So there's no needing to do anything special here. Starting at three is when it begins looking like this and three and four are exactly the same. So what's the best teams to build for this event that you're not wasting resources that these characters are can be used m for multiple things that you may want. So for example, the main thing that most people want are legendary characters. And that brings me to Spider-Verse and Guardians both are on the outside lanes and they both have their own separate nodes. Guardians, You'll get, they should be the second team you get after Defenders. And they can they can take care of some of these nodes. And Guardians, in case you don't know, unlock Star-Lord. Then the other lane is Spider-Verse. I'm telling you guys right now, Sinister Six should be the third team you go for in this game. They are Spider-Verse, they get you Shuri and Invisible Woman. So those are the two. If you want to start contributing to your team, those are one and two you should have right after Defenders. Now let's start looking at it in the future in case maybe you already have those teams built and you already have those legendary. So what's next? My personal opinion is probably next to even go further in this ladder is get a Kree team. Now you need the minions to unlock Fury, which I'm going to get into here in a second. But Kree also has more than just the minions. You have Minerva, Ronin. They both, with Kree minions, make one heck of a team and can help you get through all those Kree nodes there in the second level. So after Kree, if you have your minions and you unlock Fury, well, the next thing you want to start leveling up is your shield team with Fury. They're not the best meta team in any game mode, but they are well-rounded in every game mode and be used for every game mode in this. And not only that, that shield team can unlock Iron Man. And then if you can do the middle, then you unlock your defenders and there you go. And that's kind of that's kind of basically what you need to build. And then you get in the middle, you have your guardians again. Brotherhood, eventually you'll build Brotherhood for Magneto. They won't be able to go through this until they give you a new Brotherhood character that can actually add sustain to the Brotherhood. They're probably good for a note or two, maybe two if you're if you're way overpowered, but they're not going to get very far. Same thing with X-Men. Phoenix, you use her once, she's pretty much done for. So you'll basically be trying to use your Guardians and the outside lane with Brotherhood and X-Men, you're going to have to find a way to get it done without Phoenix. And that's how I'd build teams for this Champions Raid. And that's the order. Like... The idea is like, don't go all out. Don't do all out for Spider-Verse and Kree to do both tiers. Work on one of those teams first. Just work on your Guardians. Once your Guardians can get the whole way through and beat that boss node, then I'm like, okay, I got my Guardians where I need them. Now let me work on the next team. 
And not only that, when this event rolls around, you have a month before it rolls around again, a little, probably a little bit longer than a month. These characters that you build can also do well in the other Greek raids. And I'm going to make videos for those other raids coming up soon. Um, I have them planned. I meant to do them before now, but it just hasn't happened. And hopefully in, in the near future, before those raids come up again, I'll make a video. But that's how I would handle this Champions Raid. To me, this Champions Raid, even though it's 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 over tune compared to the other ones, is more beginner friendly than the other raids. This is the most friendly raid that we have in this game. It's giving you the teams that already have synergy with each other. You're not going to get a whole lot of that in the other raids. And we're going to cover those, like I said, we'll cover those in the future. And the last thing I want to cover before ending this video is Shuri is coming up in the Legendary event. To get Shiri, you just need Spider-Verse characters. And these are the Spider-Verse characters you need to use. If you have not started building anything yet for Shuri, don't waste your resources on Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Carnage, or Venom. Because you're doing twice the amount of work that you need to do. Honestly, when Fox Nux first released Invisible Woman and said, hey, you need Sinister Six for them, to me, I think they were thinking immediate money grab but not long-term thinking because they literally made this so much easier for free-to-play players to get Invisible Woman and Shuri that I think in the long run they're going to end up regretting. I mean, they could put a positive spin on it like, oh, yes, we're supporting free-to-play and stuff like that. But in the long run, I think backstage they're going to regret that. Now let's just aim this down just to Sinister Six. And there you see them. They're not quite where they still need to be to achieve to unlock Shiri. I'm actually going to put Casino's graphic on the screen if I can find it up here with them. But I believe they need to be around close to 90,000 is the lowest score recorded. And they are not there yet. And I've already run into gear problems. So I'll be spending some time with some of my energy today trying to get the gear pieces needed to get these guys ranked up. And that gear piece you see right there is the one you're going to have the most problem with. It seems like the most characters that are worth anything in this game for some reason are classified as tech and they all need this stuff. But guys, anyways, that is the video. If you like the information provided, please support the channel by hitting subscribe. Hit that like button too. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if I'm not, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what I could have done better for you because I am here to please and I really would like to be your one-stop shop for anything free to play in this game. So... That is it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.